on another beautiful day. Welcome to Reading and Writing, everyone. With you as always, I'm Jeff. And hey, look at us. We're on the other side of summer solstice here. Can you believe that? Those midsummer nights are upon us, and you know where I'll be. Out there on two wheels, and wherever my two feet land, with a book and a nice cold and crispy bottle of mineral water. This week, I'd like to chat about one of the most memorable reads of all time. A book that no one is ambivalent about because everyone who's read the darn thing is either in the, this is the best book ever or this is the worst book ever camp. I'm talking about Hanya Yanagihara's novel of everything, winner of not very much, and maybe the great gay novel of our time, A Little Life. With an ensemble cast of friends that struggle to define success in their formative years, on the surface, A Little Life resembles a lot of New York City genre novels. At times, the characters feel like characters. You got your trust-funded architect, a struggling artist, an even more struggling but terribly good-looking actor, and finally, our protagonist, Jude. He's an emotionally unavailable litigator harboring a dark secret. The impact of this secret, revealed in piecemeal, is what pulled me into one of the most immersive dramas about friendship, addiction, abuse, and the drive to continue under the most tragic of circumstances. Though many stretches of this novel are difficult to read due to its graphic subject matter, it's the moments of light that really make it worth pushing through. These moments are short-lived, spanning only sentences at times, but they are of a mundane kind of sentimentality rarely found in a novel. In short, these moments are the kind of stuff that make us all unavoidably human something I found a lot of comfort in, and while I always remember a little life. And hey, this book is not an ebook. That's right, I'm talking to you about a print book that you can pick up in person at the library because we are reopening our doors on July 2nd. So check out sapple.ca for more details. Well, I think that's it for this little life for a little bit. I'm going to take a break. I'll be reading, writing, and recharging for July. So I'll see you all in August. Until then, take care everyone, and we're here for you.